Well, it's um, good to see you and a happy new year to everybody. Um, particularly if I haven't been able to see you um, yet in the course of the year. Um, it's really good to have you with me for morning prayer on, um, what are we, Monday the 8th of January. A little bit cold here in Staple Grove, but nice and sunny um, and bright. Um, so hopefully um, not too bad. Um, we are in the season of Epiphany at the moment. The Epiphany um, has dawned upon us. Um, uh, when we remember traditionally the Magi um, arriving and travelling, following the star and arriving at Jesus and offering their gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. And um, yesterday in our services we were reflecting upon those gifts and what they mean and what gifts we can offer um, to Jesus um, in our lives as well. Um, as always, you can follow the um, order of service um, using the link um, provided or on the Daily Prayer app. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, King of the nations, to you be praise and glory forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit. That we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm number two. Why are the nations in tumult and why do the peoples devise a vain plot? Kings of the earth rise up and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their bonds asunder and cast away their cords from us. He who dwells in heaven shall laugh them to scorn. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son, this day have I begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore be wise, O kings, be prudent, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and with trembling kiss his feet, lest he be angry and you perish from the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Happy are all they who take refuge in him. Glory the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our Old Testament, second Old Testament reading, is taken from um, the book of Genesis, the very first um, part, first section of the Bible. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was, form, was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. And God said, Let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome, and it was so. God called the dome sky, and there was evening and there was morning the second day. God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas, and God saw that it was good. 
Then God said, Let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. And let them be lights in the do- let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. And God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. God saw that it was good, and there was evening and there was morning, the fourth day. We'll have to wait for the uh, second part of that creation story, which may come tomorrow, I guess. Well, let's turn to our prayers of intercession as we pray for the world and the church and the day before us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this new season of the Epiphany. Lord, we give you thanks for the Magi, the wise men as they travelled. Thank you for their faithfulness and perseverance in following the star hundreds of miles and finding the Christ child and offering their gifts of gold and frankincense and of myrrh. And Lord, I give you thanks for the gifts that we receive from you in our lives and we pray that we would have the wisdom and the knowledge to offer you the gifts that we have, those God-given gifts that we're able to offer to you, to the world, to those around us. So Lord, help us to be attentive to all that we have and offer ourselves as grateful sacrifices of love. Lord, in your mercy, (coughs) hear our prayer. Lord, we give you thanks for everybody who is part of our churches here in Norton and Staplegrove. We give you thanks for the gifts offered by so many different people, not just not just making a contribution to our churches, but in fact, without which we wouldn't be able to exist. So, Lord, we thank you. Whether that be time or talents, experience, expertise, or money, Lord, we pray that we would be wise stewards of those gifts. And Lord, we pray for the wider church here in Taunton, as we're asked to pray for unity within the church. So we give you thanks for the many denominations we have here, the ways in which we're able to come together and worship, and come together in uh, common purpose and activities. We're asked today to pray for those churches who are able to offer themselves as warm spaces, Included among them, of course, St John's at Staple Grove. So, Lord, we pray that all of these places will indeed be locations which offer warmth, hospitality and welcome. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we do pray for the wider church across the world for Christians who live, worship and witness in challenging places, those who risk their lives even for their faith. Lord, having just celebrated the Christmas season, we're aware that Christmas was cancelled in the Holy Land itself. Lord, we do pray for that area for a ceasing of violence and warfare. Pray for the leaders of 
those nations, particularly Israel, Gaza, and the surrounding area, Ukraine and Russia, of course, other areas too. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as we think of uh, the wise men uh, travelling, so we pray for those who travel. Such a central part of our lives these days. And Lord, we know that it's one of the most dangerous things we do on a daily basis. So Lord, we do uh, pray for all those who travel today. Your protection would be upon them. Would we give you thanks for our emergency services, ambulances, police, fire, coastal services. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our schools as they begin new terms. Most of them, of course, into their first full week. So, Lord, we thank you for Staple Grove and for Norton Schools. We pray for the journeys that they begin. Thank you once again for the Christian values that are very much at the heart of everything that they do, enabling them and all of us to focus upon the light of your presence. So, Lord, we pray that they will indeed be able to follow you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we gather before you in our hearts and in our prayers those individuals we know who are suffering in body, mind or spirit. So we pray for those who are ill. We hold before you Graham, Derek and Margaret and Jonathan and Christine, Ivy and Gerald, and Lord, we pray too for those who are in the midst of grief at the moment, the friends and families of Cynthia Gilbert, of Dave Mullen, of Robbie Sweet. Lord, we pray that the light of your presence will bring them strength and comfort at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, I do pray for the day that lies ahead of us today. <coughs> Not least the collective worship to take at place at Staple Grove School, focusing on the Epiphany. So Lord, help us to know your presence and indeed to be guided towards the light of your presence. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your Son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, Grant to us who are born again by water and the Spirit, we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. As Jesus himself has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ who sends us to the nations give us the power of his spirit. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I hope you have a really good day and um, look forward to catching up with you soon.